Hello, Internet. James Allen from Out of 8, and today I'm playing the beta of Star Drive, an upcoming 4X space strategy game. I'll just launch into a new game here. Uh, first thing you do is pick a race, uh, or you can customize with different positive or negative uh, attributes. Uh, you know, it has a point balance to pick who you want to be. So, let's see. I'm going to pick these people right here. And then you can pick, you know, the little symbol and their color. I'm going to choose a tiny or probably a small galaxy size with four opponents. Uh, and keep the rest of it on regular. And then here we go. So as with most 4X games, the first step is to explore. So I'm going to select my scout here. and There he is. You right click, give him an order to go exploring, and then he'll automatically go exploring. You don't have to do anything else with him uh, from that point on. The game takes place in real time, but it actually splits everything up into five second turns where it accumulates resources and does research, which is what the next step is. Uh, so in terms of research, I'm going to focus on colonization in the early uh, going. I'm going to go with this little farm uh, right there, and then I'm actually going to probably upgrade my ships next. Give myself heavy fighters. Uh, so there's that. Uh, you can see here you can zoom all the way into a planet. Each planet, there's actually multiple planets around each star system, and you can also zoom out uh, to this level here. So there's my little scout ship that's going around and exploring the galaxy. Uh, right now I also have a colonizer and a fighter. Uh, and actually my fighter is actually under direct control. You can actually directly control your things. You use the WASD keys to like move around and stuff. Although I haven't really found that to be too terribly helpful to be perfectly honest. Uh, it is interesting. So while that's going on... Uh, let me go back to my empire. Here we go. That's what I wanted to do. Uh, I'm going to build some ships. Uh, build another scout to explore. And then it automatically you know, does it there. Uh, for your colonies, you can actually have a, uh, an AI governor automatically do them. So you can have them focus on industry, on research, on food production, serve as a military outpost, uh, or as a balanced, which is what I'm going to do for that. So, my ship should be done, so he's awaiting orders. There he is. I will also tell him to go explore. Uh, as they go explore, you can kind of zoom out here. If you click on a star, it shows the planets with its little ratings here. This one's actually a pretty good one to colonize. Uh, fairly decent, at least. So, I'm going to click on colonize. What it will automatically do is queue up... Uh, a colony ship, unless you have one already, which I do, so see he's already en route to that planet. So that's pretty cool, and then uh, we'll see what other worlds we get as we go further out. Uh, the game really focuses on automation. It's kind of like a simplified version of Distant Worlds, if you're familiar with that uh, 4X game. Uh, you know, you can give units uh, orders and they'll automatically carry them out. Uh, you'll see that when I start building my freighters after I colonize here in a second. Uh, nothing good over there. Kind of for it to be a good planet, you can see here your explored planet list kind of has to have all three uh, attributes. Food production, uh, industry, and the population support, obviously. And that one is the only one that I found so far that was somewhat decent, so it'll get colonized here in a couple seconds. Uh, you can see here, you know, that's the planet list of all the planets you've scouted. Access to all your ships, and it tells you what they're doing. You can also create fleets. So I'll do this early on here. I'm going to create a little fighter squad. You can actually just drag and drop uh, the fighters. You know, some sort of arrangement there. That sounds good. And then when you do that, it'll actually queue up ships that you already have and ships that you need to build to fill out that squad, which is pretty cool. Um, so once those get completed, then it'll be one big fleet that you can order around. So that one's not good. So there you go. So that's colonized. 
I'm going to give him a core just to make him balanced. So he already queued up a spaceport for me. Now, I'm going to queue up, there's my fighters, I'm going to queue up some transport freighters. And actually, you can use stored, uh, which is what I'm going to do, stored resources to speed up construction there. And then, as you can see on this screen, now I have three transports that are waiting orders. So here's one. I'm going to tell him to shuttle colonists around to grow my new uh, planets. I'm going to tell this guy to transport goods. And I'm also going to tell this guy to transport goods. So... My dog is very excited about that, apparently. So, there goes my fleet. Don't really know why they're headed out in that direction, but whatever. Let's go right there, fleet. Uh, let's see. Ooh, that's a good one. So, I'm going to colonize that. Put a little colony flag. Now, once you get a lot of planets, you usually kind of stick to this and just sort it. There's the one that I just sent the thing to. The rest of these planets are pretty crappy. Uh, also on your Empire list, you can tell it whether to export or import goods. So my freighters are actually going to automatically shuttle resources from my home world to my colonies, to the colonies that need them. So you can see right here, there he is. He's delivering food to my new colony. And so is that one. Found this first guy, so we'll see if he'll sign a non-aggression pact. Yep. Which is a good thing. I'm going to try to do a trade agreement with him. There he is right there. Well, screw you. You have not claimed it because I'm sending my colony ship over there right now. Jerk face. I should have a colony ship going there anyway. Uh, colonizer, yep, en route. So he's awaiting orders. So are these other fighters. But I think they're in my fleet. Yeah, they're just kind of hanging out. Well, since they're doing that, I'm going to send my fleet over there to defend, because no doubt that's going to be a point of contention. It's got an anomaly. Wonderful. So my colony ship should be warping over there as we speak. Uh, let's see here. If we have anybody not doing anything. Nope. Doesn't look like it. The diplomatic options are pretty uh, basic. There's, you know, trade treaties and stuff. Okay, there we go. Awesome. So, and you see these little freighters will just shuttle back and forth. You need more, more transports, you know, the bigger your empire gets. So it's pretty cool. This is probably my colony ship, yep. Uh, another big part of the game is uh, ship design. Oh, awesome. Uh, as you can see here, you load up a template, like here's a fighter, and then you can place individual pieces on it, such as the cockpit. There's a cockpit. Uh, you know, holds for weapons. I actually need to do a power plant here. There you go, so now you can power that, and then engines. And then as you research things, you get more and more options, you know, here. Obviously, this is pretty much all you're going to do. And then you save it. So there's your design, and then I'm not going to save that. Uh, in here... Uh, you can actually see see the little green thing down there. As things get damaged, uh, it actually damages their individual systems based on where you uh, uh, place them. So it has location-specific damage, which is pretty cool. And this hyperspace flux is really, really annoying. So I'm going to speed up time a little bit until it's done. There we go. That was uh, just kind of pointless. I'm going to speed up time a little bit. See if there's any other planets to look at. That one I'm already setting one to. That's basically it. 
No, nothing going on up there. Yeah, like, what is this? Is a baron? Yeah, barons are dumb. Oh. Well then. Somebody got there first. That's unfortunate. Uh, I'll just have to we'll use my colony ship for something else then. So here's my empire view. Good storage. Not really constructing anything at the moment. Just waiting to scout. And there's some really crappy planets. There's a desert. Try to colonize that. There you go. So my colony ship should uh, go back over there. Aeroponics. There it goes. I got a farm. Yeah, well, that's interesting. Is that worth colonizing now? Not really. There's the colony ship. Now he's going over there. So uh, I'm interested to see where it, what this game's going to look like when it's finished. Uh, it has some pretty neat ideas. I like the shuttling of resources around. Go back to normal speed here. Oh, really? Huh. So they lost their colony. Well, let me try to colonize that again. Fleet 1, you just hang out by that planet. That should have queued up, yeah, a new colonizer. There we go. Let's see if I can speed up its production here. There you go. So, extra food for that farm. And now I'm researching heavy fighters, which will take 58 turns, which means, you know, whatever that is, 60 times 5 seconds. 5 minutes, basically, of real time. Oh, let me accelerate time. Oop. Over here, hostile forces are over here, uh, which is too bad because that planet is actually pretty decent and ultra rich. I'll colonize it, but I need to queue up another fleet. So let's do that real quick. Uh, uh. Uh, no own ship, so build six more ships, please. And I actually queued up one of them there, and the other five over there, so that's pretty good. And I have all this stuff saved up here. There we go. Speeding production is pretty a uh, big part of the game, I would say. So I'm going to send my... Is my colonizer already going there? Damn it. Just wait. I'm going to die. Alright, I need to get some more freighters up. Which I shall do right now. Alright. Make sure my ships are doing. My freighters. There's one awaiting orders. Transport goods. Then I need to have another one. There we go. I'm going to do this as an industrial world. Freighter. It's another one. All right, you transport colonists. Bring up my population. All right. Yeah, well, you can go have fun with your little fluffy friends. This is a pretty good one, too. Hmm. Got an invasion, that must be it, yeah. That's probably why his other colony got wiped out. There's natives on the planet. And I don't have any ground troops. There's uh, ground combat. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. Wow, screw it.
Um, there's ground combat, which can either be automated or you can do it manually. And there's also space combat. Uh, yeah, I know. Come on, second fleet, hurry up. Any other planets to colonize? Swamp ultra poor. Tundra average. Yeah, I'll do that. Colonize. I'll do that one too. Oh, he's already got one. I wish it would kind of tell you which ones you have colony ships sent to. But again, beta, so obviously you can have room for improvement here. There we go. So my colonizers are already ready to go. So there you go. Your research is almost done. Kinda. Uh, what do I want to do next? Probably get missiles. Yeah. Missiles. Try to beef up my ships. Attack! Here's a little space combat here. Now I can show off a little damage, hopefully for them rather than me. So, you know, it's in 2D, but... Oop, he died. Yeah, I don't think my chips are going to hold out too well in this area. These guys are pretty hefty. Yep, see, there you go. There's the damage. So it knocks out whatever systems I placed on that part of the chip. So that's pretty cool. But you guys are going to die. I'm just going to do... We'll do research. Because you don't have much stuff. Anyway. Yeah, all you guys are on import. <laughs> yeah, you guys are screwed. Go build some more uh, freighters, I think. There you go. Use up some of my stored stuff. We'll keep an eye on the freighters. Ooh, over here. Waiting orders. Tr Colonist transports. Transport goods. Transport goods. Transport goods. Heavy fighter unlocked. Excellent. So I get the crescent. It has a uh, stock designs, as you'll see. Oh, maybe it doesn't. It should have stock designs. Maybe I gotta make my own. Yeah, let's make my own. This will show off this thing. So you gotta have a cockpit. There's the cockpit. Uh, small ordnance storage. There we go. Uh, let's do some of that. Nuclear reactor. Uh, then we gotta have engines. Now I can do this stuff. Pew, pew, pew. I think that's going to be too big. Yeah. I don't have any. That's why my w missiles are coming up. All right, and then you save it. Uh, oh, yeah, I don't have a cockpit. I thought I did have a cockpit. Oh, I forgot engines. There, how about now? There you go. Secret code. Alright, so now I can queue that up. 
There it is. <clears throat> Actually, let me create a fleet of it. It's almost easier that way. Create my third fleet. With two, three, four, five, and put some fighters in it too. There you go, build eight new, eight new ships, and we'll have third fleet as soon as it's done queuing it up. There they are. Doesn't have very much stuff left. All right. I mean, that's basically the, the, the game right there. Um, you know, it has... I like the, the use of freighters to transport the stuff back and forth. Uh, the fleet design has some, uh, you know, tactical possibilities there. And I also like how it automatically queues up the ships you don't have to make those fleets. Uh, the automated unit orders are nice. You can just do it once and then forget about those ships. You can actually send military ships... Uh, if I can find one of them. Here you are. There you are. You can actually send them, if you right click, you can give them orders to Empire Defense, and they'll automatically go to places that you're being attacked at, which is pretty cool. Um, and then you also have the direct ship control, if you so desire to do it that way. Um, the economics seem to be pretty easy to grasp. It's just the food and the production. Uh, and then, you know, the freighters can bring it back and forth automatically once you get those queued up. So, and then, you know, the research options are pretty basic. Uh, and then it has, you know, the space and the ground combat. Uh, and basic diplomatic options. So, uh, the game is actually, uh, oh, and actually, I forgot to show one more thing. And that is you can do agents. So there's my agent. Uh, and then you can send him on, issue, on missions, such as he'll go steal money from those guys. Taking 30 turns to do it should be, you know, about, uh, you know, two minutes or so, three minutes. So, uh, that's agent. And then there's a bunch of other stuff that the agents can do. So, uh, the game is planned to go into uh, open beta soon, I've been told, by the publisher. So, uh, keep an eye out for that. And then it's planned for release later uh, this year. So that's all I have for today. Until next time, bye now.